optimism. It's an attitude we all strive for, but is it really that simple to achieve? In her new book, Chasing the Bright Side, Jess Ekstrom aims to inspire readers to pursue the life they want and urges people to start with optimism. It's a main facet of Jess's life as she runs her organization, Headbands of Hope, which donates a headband to a child battling cancer for everyone sold. Jess joins us now to discuss Headbands of Hope as well as her new book. Jess, welcome to Cheddar News. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. So I want to jump right in and talk about Headbands of Hope. You started that out of your dorm room college in college. Can you talk about more about what the nonprofit does? Yeah, it was as scrappy as they come. I was interning at Make-A-Wish. I saw a lot of kids wanted to wear headbands after losing their hair to chemotherapy, but they'd be offered wigs and hats. So I started Headbands of Hope in April 2012. I didn't know how to make a website. I didn't know how to make a logo. I ended up paying a student in Chipotle burritos to build my website for me. And now we've donated over half a million headbands to kids with cancer. and reached every children's hospital in America in 15 countries now. That's incredible. You talk about hope. What did that experience teach you about optimism in particular? I think there's a misconception about optimism, about being happy all the time. Like you have to throw confetti in the air and jump to your happy place. But really, optimism isn't a mood. It's more of a strategy. And we need that optimism when times are tough. I like to think hard times give us a choice, the excuse to do less or the reason to do more. And optimism is about how can we use it to do more during the tough times. So in your book, Chasing the Bright Side, you talk about that and the power of optimism. Mm -hmm. How can we as adults maintain that mindset in our own lives? I think the first thing you have to do is just audit the things that you're chasing right now. If no one else knew about it, would it still matter to you? Sometimes we chase things in our life based on how they look instead of how they feel. So sometimes I can get caught up in that with Headbands of Hope and really going after certain things that really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. So I try to stay rooted into why I started. Do you have any uh, notes within the book about chasing the bright side, especially in a world where we're constantly plugged into everything going on, a lot of which isn't optimistic? Yeah, yeah. I like to think failure will always feel better than regret. And so sometimes we get so hung up on the things that we do wrong. You know, we equate like our wounds to our worth. And really, sometimes we just have to go for it and realize that when we mess up and we make mistakes, it's all a part of the process. I share in Chasing the Bright Side sometimes when I royally messed up starting my business because this was the book that I needed to hear when starting Headbands of Hope because I was just hearing all the success stories of people and none of the messy middle. And so really just understanding that failure will always feel better than regret and at least you have a story in the end. Is there something that people can do starting right now that can help change their outlook, especially if they woke up on the wrong side of the bed? Yeah, I think sometimes when we think about giving back or like starting a movement, we think about scale. And we think if, we ha if we're gonna do something, it has to be huge. And therefore we don't do anything at all. And it can be really just debilitating to think about if we wanna solve hunger, then we have to do it all. And then we don't think about the person that's right in front of us. So I like to call it breaking the seal. Like what is one small thing that you can do today to get better? Better doesn't always mean best. It doesn't mean living our life at like the highest volume all the time. 1% better, 2% better. What are the small things that we can do today? And then the small things add up. I think, you know, Headbands of Hope is where it is today, not because of some huge moment that created this shift for us, but it's all the little things that have added up over time to get us where we are today. So just give yourself permission to do the small things. Don't worry about scale in the beginning. Something that I really love about the book is that it focuses not only on mood as optimism, but also mm -hmm. on the balance and the impact that it has on your future and your life broadly. So yeah. how do you advise people to have a sustainable future while also living a life that you're proud of? I think that thinking about if everything went away one day, what you're working on, if no one knew about it, if it ended up making no money, would it still be meaningful to you? And I think that that is what we need to focus on is the things that really matter to us instead of thinking about how things might look on our resume or how they might look, you know, on our LinkedIn profile. What are the things that truly matter? Got it. Jess Ekstrom, thank you so much for joining us today. And where can we get Chasing the Bright Side? You can get Chasing the Bright Side at chasingthebrightside.com or head to your local Barnes & Noble and Walmart and pick up a copy. Thanks so much for having me.